Good afternoon. This is a weather briefing on Tropical Storm Isaac, and this is for the area of counties in Mississippi. That's Jackson, Harrison, and Hancock, and of course the inland counties. That's Pearl River, Stone, and George, and not to mention southeast Louisiana and southern Alabama. Now, folks along the Gulf Coast should keep a very close eye and monitor this system very closely for the potential of a possible landfall somewhere along the north central Gulf of Mexico sometimes in the middle of ne week next week. The tropical storm Isaac is currently 1400 miles away and it's moving, moving really quickly to the west through the eastern part of the Caribbean at about 20 miles per hour. Maximum sustained winds are only 40 miles per hour and eventually that's expected to strengthen and it's in fact likely to strengthen in, in the uh, days to come. Due to the fact that the system remained weak, and we're going to go over that in just a moment, um, it's showing it's poorly organized, but it's getting itself act, act, act together because there is some drier uh, air moving in on its east side. Eventually, the dry air should modify and allow Isaac to strengthen. As long as the system remains weak, it's going to take, continue on a westerly track and not a uh, turn to the north. If it's a stronger system, then they tend to turn more to the north. As long as this system remains weak, it it's a concern that this system could possibly uh, have to be shifted more to the west, which is not good news for the folks here along the Gulf Coast of Mississippi, Alabama, and Louisiana because it puts us in a higher threat. Okay, these are some early models, and most of those models were taken over the peninsula of Florida or, or just to the... Um, uh, west of the peninsula of Florida and um, going up the east coast. That seems to be uh, shifting because one of the reasons is there's a very large area of high pressure over the Atlantic and that high is expected to be a little stronger and pushing the system more to the west. And over Texas there's another area of high pressure and that high is, is forecast to weaken so that too is going to allow a shift to the west and also not to mention there's an area of uh, trough of uh, uh, low pressure that's uh, in between and of course storms like Lisa Res Resistance and that storm could possibly take that turn more to the north and into the north central Gulf. We're going to skip this slide here. We're going to go to this one and showing what we see in here is three possibilities. And right now, I'm not going to say, you know, which one I'm leaning more to because it's, it's uncertain at this point and it's very hard to pre predict where a storm is going to go within a five day period out. So here we have one uh, possibility taking it close to the Louisiana, well, Alabama and Mississippi line, right in this area here around Jackson, past Pagula, and then up toward just to the um, east of Hattiesburg. Hattiesburg, Mississippi is right in here. Now the other possibility is taking it uh, very close to Pensacola, Fort Walton, possibility, and swinging to the northeast up toward Montgomery. And then um, the, the third is uh, toward uh, the Tallahassee area up in southern Georgia. Those are only uh, opinions and possible forecasts for right now. And this is actually forecast by the NOAA Weather Service uh, out of Jacksonville, Florida. Timing is still un uncertain, but uh, the current forecast track shows that winds and seas could begin to increase late in the weekend due to a high pressure, as I mentioned, to the north that will cause some pressure gradient between that low pressure that's coming in from um, Isaac and the strong high pressure up to the north. So some strong increase in winds and a lot of rip currents forecast and this is on both sides of Florida the eastern coastal areas and um, the western part of the coast of Florida so strong increased winds from the east is anticipated 
keep it posted right here. Um, we'll keep you up with the latest on the um, Tropical Storm Isaac. You can go to our website. That's CycloneWarningCenter.com to get the latest information and tune in to NOAA. National Hurricane Center in Miami. They are the official source for the latest in this tropical storm Isaac forecasting. Thanks for joining us. Have a great afternoon.